What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Football La. My name is Amsha. And I'm Dil. This is our fourth episode. Fourth? Yeah. Finally. I know. We're the worst pundits. Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you look at last week's result, it was... It was terrible. It was I mean, <laughs> to be honest, we were predicting football scores. They were rugby scores. So. No, they were basketball scores. Basketball scores. <laughs> you look a bit tired, man. Right? Yeah, I am, man. You know what? I'm kind of hungry. Yeah? yeah what, do you, what do you feel like? I feel like having donuts, man. You brought the donuts, right? From Dunkin' Donuts. You wanted donuts? Yeah, I wanted donuts. Why? I brought Duncan. Duncan? Who? Oh, Duncan! Ladies and okay. gentlemen! <laughs> He's finally on the show! For <laughs> real! <laughs> Thanks for having me, guys. Yeah, yeah. No, no problem. No problem, man. Just we have a celebrity thing. presence, man. Come on, I'm not a celebrity. We I'm just a former S League footballer who loves yeah. the local game. Is that your business card? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I have to put that in. <laughs> By the way, the who says hi to you. Oh, hi yeah, to the who. Yeah, I just met the, the Hong Kong United S League team recently. Oh, yeah, we yeah. saw the video. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> guys, watch this. Watch this. Just to get things started, uh, let's see what happened during the last week of football. So we had S League matches and Singapore Cup matches. Yep. So we'll quickly flash the scores up here somewhere. <laughs> After that week, the table stands like this right now. Let's get to the more exciting match that happened last week. What exciting match? The AFC Cup semi-final. I didn't watch it. What happened? Ah man, this J JDT is playing right now, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so while we're recording this, JDT is playing across uh, in the other room right now. So it's going to be interesting. But yesterday, Home United made it through to the zonal finals, and it was such an awesome match. And the crowds yeah. were good. It was so much fun. Duncan, did you manage to catch it? Yeah, I watched the game and um, it was fantastic because the Singapore team has never made it to an AFC Cup final ever. Yes, it is a regional final, yeah, but, but still yeah. such, such an achievement and the way they did it in such dramatic fashion right. was deep brilliant. Yeah, but two AFC Cup games in a row mm. and he scores last minute goals, like crucial goals for Home United to get so, on to the next round. So. But he was, he was struggling in, in the first yeah, time. He was, he was. He was struggling in but the first time, he didn't he was, get the service. Yeah, yeah I, I must admit that, but ex Hagun player, Hagun Wu, <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> uh, no comment. <laughs> so I have to say that Stipe, um, he came in to, to Home United with the pressure of replacing Ken also. Right. And Yes, Ken also is doing great stuff in, in Malaysia with Kedah. Yeah, I think they course. won the Malaysia uh, the FA Cup yeah, maybe. recently. But no one would have expected him to score the amount of goals he's been doing for Home United. Not even halfway through the season and he's going to overshoot his previous record of 15 goals. Damn it. So, wrong team bro! Wrong team! <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys heard about the crowd yesterday. Uh, I mean, the famous Eddie was oh, leading a crowd of leading a team of uh, home U fans and I was there, I was around there, they were chanting, it was quite fun but I'm not sure if you guys actually saw the videos of the crowds just going wild after that third goal. I, I, did, I, I did see the video snippet of the crowd going wild, I think yeah. there was a friend of mine who was there jumping. <laughs> uh, no, there was a shot of um, Fundy celebrating yeah, with, like, with right, the journalist who was videoing. Yeah. So it was great that, that a legend was there right. to see his son play as well. Yeah, right. yeah. So, what do you think about like S League uh, crowds? Do you think they could do better? Should should there be a pools in every yeah team? Uh, yeah, well, I think I was there. I was part of the game uh, where the Haugang pools started, and it was right. back in uh, two thousand and ten. Uh, when it was second Kongo yeah. and they, they played uh, Beijing Goan and we won that game and that was the first time and it was interesting because as we were warming up a group of people came into the stadium and they started singing and stuff and we were like what is going on this, this is not the, the, the standard it's like uh, this normal, is not an normal. league game yeah, yeah but it was fantastic to have them singing and chanting which doesn't really happen in S League games, you just hear the beat of the drums and yeah. no one's singing but I guess the holes you've got the drums and the singing as well so that's, that's pretty awesome. For all S League teams out there, you guys have to start small. Come on, let's do it. Yeah, start small. Just small started off singing, Manchester United just adapted so, to local so, football. So, so yesterday the favourite chant was Glory, Glory, Home United! Oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> you were 
was, but it's a good start. Come on, yeah. let's keep it going. <laughs> yeah. And maybe, maybe home versus Haldong would be more fun. Better. How's that? Yeah, that's yeah. fun. So right now we have the S League transfer window happening. So Pablo to home you next season and then score another 15 oh. goals, right? <laughs> the story is when I when I met the, the Haldong United S League team uh, a few days back was there won't be any changes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's what we I got from. Coach Philip yeah. Powell as well. Yeah. Would, would, would you think how they need something right now? Well, they, they lack a, a finisher. I mean, yes. it's pretty obvious. Um, nine goals in ten games. Yeah. And when you see what Alberex and Home United are doing, scoring <laughs> almost three times, <laughs> almost three times the amount yeah. of what uh, Hogan are scoring, so they definitely yeah. lack a striker. I think Antoine has done well, but uh, Coach Philip said that that's not his position, position to play yeah. up front to be the target man. Yeah. Hey, Billy remember that? Yeah, come on. We, we, Coach. We, we call him the giraffe in our circles just because oh, yeah. he's just the store, right? He's just this. Yeah, he's yeah. Just tall. And he's guy. there. You've covered some ethnic transfers over the seasons, right? What was yeah. your favorite so far? Or what was the one that shocked you so much and you went, wow, did that happen? Well, mid season, um, doesn't really, not really uh, too much transfers happen during mid season, yeah. but obviously when you look back at last season, the big one when Jermaine Pennant came. All right, yeah. I mean, that has to be the one. But even back a few years before that, I think Tampanese were also interested in signing Ida Gutjonsson. There, there was a rumor right. of that happening. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. big names do, do want to come to, to the S League if you pay them the, the money that you pay them. If, if you pay them the yeah, amount of the money. Yeah. Yeah. What, if, what if transfers were really random? What if it was not planned? What, 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 what if it was like, like a draft pick kind draft of thing? Pick like kind of random thing. throwing of players? Oh, that would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, interesting. Be interesting. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the very first Football La Random Transfer... What? Random, random transfer, transfer... Prediction! Prediction thingy! Right. Good title! <laughs> 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 yeah. We thought about it. Yeah. So, because Duncan is here, we have... Donuts? donuts. You did bring the donuts! I did bring the donuts! Alright, oh, you finally got something right! <laughs> finally! Would it be weird if I held the box? Then would it make sense? Right, exactly. Like, yeah. Duncan 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 Donuts <laughs> Donuts Here's what we're gonna do We have six donuts in each box And each um, One of the boxes represent the players While the other box represents uh, the clubs We're gonna ask Duncan to pick one player One club So rather three players and three clubs And if any of these transfers actually happen He is gonna get to Pick a dare for us. Oh, okay. please, please do not like. I don't have any more facial hair to stay, shave off for a dare, so I'm good. <laughs> do not ask me to carry a home you <laughs> scarf at a Haugang game against home. No, I have one. I have one in my head. Alright, alright. Right. Sure. Right. Okay. <laughs> I'm afraid. Now I'm afraid. <laughs> but this is players or this is club? So the the ones the, the frosted ones, which are those, yep. they have players. And I have the list of players in my phone right now. Ooh. And uh, don't worry, I'm not gonna randomly assign players. And these are clubs. So, Duncan, why don't you go and pick up your first player? Am I supposed to eat it or what? If you like, mm -hmm. if you're, if yeah. you're feeling hungry, go for it. I feel like eating this player. That was number one, which is Victor Koto. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Victor Koto. How, how does Victor Koto taste now? <laughs> sweet. 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 So, next up is the club. We have six clubs. And which is number one? How does it go? So this is the so one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Number six. Victor Cano to Hauga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well he's a striker. And Hauga is a striker. striker. It makes sense. So if that happens, then uh, well, it could happen. Yeah. My deck, my deck could be on. Uh, I, 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 I would think the deck. I would think oh, no. I'd this, this is suddenly looking like a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna go pick a second one? Me as well. Yeah. Oh. Why not? So, so oh, 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 yeah, you can do it. Go for it. There goes my diet. The diet is number four. Yeah. Richie. Can I? I'm not kidding. Duncan Duncan Duncan. Is. <laughs> wow. How come? Oh, man. I'm gonna make a <laughs> comeback. Come on, let's do it. I should just do it just for you guys. Just for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Grab a player. Grab a, grab a club, right? By the way, 
Duncan tastes good as well. Duncan tastes good as well. To Ballester? To Ballester. Yes, I almost signed for Ballester at one point in my career. I spoke to the chairman, uh, Tava. Tava yeah. And um, yeah, we had a good chat, about an hour long, but it just didn't happen for some reason. Yeah. And I joined Gilang. I'm pretty sure you liked your time in Gilang, um, I don't have fond memories of my time <laughs> in Gilang. <laughs> <laughs> what was my last club? It, it was your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it's my turn. Although I do know the players. But just, just, just close your eyes. Okay, okay. I'm, we're just gonna put it. Alright. 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 And he left the country yeah. to go back to the Netherlands. But so did Stipe Plaza, but yeah, Stipe is on a holiday. Yeah, let's hope Joel's on a holiday too. Uh, I I don't think he's that bad. I mean, Warriors he's scoring the goals, he's scoring the goals. Yeah. yeah, it's not the most inspiring team, I must admit. But right? you had, Warriors has the players. You, Warriors has the players. If you look at it on paper, Warriors have one of the yeah. strongest yeah. squads they do, they do. in the S League. So what's been up with them in the past? Couple of matches. Look, look at what happened. Man. Look at what happened. Oh, gone. Oh, I'm not sure if you watched the first episode. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> it looked totally different from that. <laughs> yeah, I, I have, I have no idea what's happening to Warriors, but uh, I've been supporting them for a while, and the last few seasons we've just been doing all right. We haven't been exactly championship material. Yeah, up. after yeah. Alex people left. Yeah, it, it hit. It feels bitter to admit it. <laughs> but, <yeah. laughs> Come on, come on, let's do something about it. <laughs> What's up with Bayanki getting recorded again? Oh, so we were joking about it in our very first episode yeah. and I said, Bye, don't get sent off. And yeah, got, he sent, got off. sent off in the Singapore Cup. So it was, okay, it, was yeah. it frustration because you know they were losing? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So we're gonna list out the transfers that we just totally Randomly, randomly predicted just which now which might possibly happen. happen in which case Duncan gets to choose something choose a dare for us to do do I just need one to happen? yeah just, need just one, one to any one of the three to so happen. I should come back and play for Ballester <laughs> <laughs> just for one game <laughs> yeah <laughs> can, I, can I reveal what I would want you guys to do? yes uh, yes, 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 yes I can mentally prepare myself yes. okay yes. I would want both of you to watch a match in your swimming trunks oh hell no what? <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> better not say yeah. from Ballester. <laughs> 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 Why do you even say it? Will you be even allowed to go in the stadium? Or we can oh, just play in the stadium. Oh, yeah. Unless we go to Jalan Basa and watch from the stadium. <laughs> <laughs> On the 6th of June, we have a friendly match against Myanmar. It's going to be a closed door match and I want to be there but... Sundar is cooking a surprise. It's gonna razzle and dazzle. <laughs> yeah, razzle and dazzle. Let's just hope it, it yeah. goes well for the boys. Who doesn't want the national team to win? It'll be a good test for them to take on Myanmar. A stronger team, yeah. arguably, than Chinese Taipei. Of course. So it'll be quite interesting to see how Singapore approach the game against Chinese Taipei because for when was the last time Singapore were actually favourites going into a game? Um, 2012. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could say it was the, the match against Cambodia before yeah, the Suzuki yeah. Cup. Yeah, right. They were really lucky to get a 1-0 win yeah, that yeah. game. I, I was there. I was yeah, frustrated. Was, I was frustrated because the seats were too cramped, actually, to be honest. And I, I felt uncomfortable sitting down. I still feel that tall. <laughs> I'm, I'm not that tall, but you know, I, I've been standing up at football matches for a long time and I just can't sit down <laughs> and watch football anymore. It's just not natural for me. Does it feel natural for you to go watch football now? After playing it for so long? It does. Uh, I've, I've gone through the transition where you know you do feel that, that tinge of jealousy of what players who used to play with still doing what they love to do. But no, I, I do enjoy it as a fan. Yeah. Do, do you get up in the press box and go like pass, 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 <laughs> press, press? Well, yes, especially when, it, when it's like the dying moments of a game and right. you know there's something hanging on, on that result. Yeah. But I yeah, just like to, I can't, because I know players from every team, so right. I can't really show an affection yeah. to one side. That's right. right. You can predict the scores for that, though. Like, Singapore, what do you think is going to be? Singapore oh. versus Myanmar? Yeah. 2 0 to Singapore. I'll be conservative, I'll say 1 0 to Singapore. I think it's going to be 0 0. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, I, I, I'm just hopeful but conservative. <laughs> <laughs> you are optimistic. I'm, I'm optimistic. 
I bet facial hair on results. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, like Liverpool fans who are optimistic. Optimist. Yeah, we're gonna win next season, but they never win. I'm a Liverpool fan. Yeah, it's Liverpool. Guys, so, so he's allowed to say that. Right after that, we have another match. This is the more important match yeah. between Chinese Taipei and Singapore. It's gonna be at Jalan Besar Stadium on the 10th of June. Dear, yeah? what do you think about this game? I mean, come on. We, I have to go with the win for this one, and I hope it's again going to be a nice 2 0 win, comfortable. Uh, we have to win this to go yeah. through to the next stage, and I really hope it happens that way. I think there's going to be a good crowd, so do come down and support our boys. And it's going to be yeah. in Jalan Besar. We're, we're going to be there. Get, we're get, get the gallery tickets. Gallery tickets. We're going to be at the gallery uh, side. I'll okay. be there as well. Yeah, yeah. but we're okay. But, he's, he's working. He's working. Yeah. but can I just say that I think this is the best possible opportunity for Singapore to qualify yeah, for exactly. the Asian Cup. Yeah. Singapore did play in 1984 in the Asian Cup, but because we were hosting it, yeah. so it's a really by, by default. <laughs> but I mean, you really need to win against Chinese Taipei at home, Turkmenistan at home. Mm -hmm. And that's already seven points. Right. And if we, we go how the Champions League uh, managers would usually say get 10 points in a group and you probably get out of it. I mean, that is looking good, but have to get the victories. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Come on you boys in red. Anyway, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be fun. I mean, the, the game starts at 9 p.m. So, well, what's your prediction? I think we're going to win. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to win. I'm afraid to see the score. <laughs> but I think it's going to be a... I, I just want a 2 nil win. I'm ready to score. Okay. For Maybe. me, it's... 1-0. When was the last time Singapore scored two goals? Um, <laughs> it's not, it's not in recent one recent memory, so... He scored one goal in the entire tournament. <laughs> in the entire yeah. tournament. Amri. Amri, yeah. So, so like, Amri's gonna score Amri, me. come on. I may, I may have yeah. been against Amri in the last game. Yeah. Of the but when it comes all, to the national team... National team, no. Yeah. Amri is the best striker. He's the most informed striker. Informed striker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. Well, you say Kai Ramri is the most informed striker, the most informed player in general, I think, yes, as far as striker. Yeah. Fantastic this season. Only totally be a good place to play for the match. Oh. <laughs> FDS, FDS, FDS. Just one, yeah. just one match, come on, guys. Syndrome, go on. <laughs> Take uh, the five years. Um, like the funny thing, the score is going to be. Uh, I think against Chinese Taipei, Singapore will win 1-0. One 1-0. One yeah. Three points, boys. Yeah. Just, it's just the three just points, that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, I was impressed that he drew against Bahrain, so... Yes. I, and, and, was, that was, that was, and it was not a back to the wall performance. Yeah, no, we had the chances, good, yeah. Good for ball, right? Yeah. yeah. So hopefully that, that carries on against uh, Chinese Taipei. Yeah, man. Yeah. Stop. Argentina? Yeah. The game against Argentina. Argentina? Uh, well... Uh, okay. To be honest, I'll be there. I'll be in the, uh, uh, the Argentina game. So will I. And uh, are you gonna be there? I hope I'll be there. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna be. There. I got I'll be there as a fan. Are you there? Yeah. 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 I got the cheapest tickets anyway. Yeah. So. Same here. But th this match isn't as of. It's not. Right. It's, not it's not really a high priority for me. I mean, I don't really care about the score. No, Chinese Taipei is the bigger game. Yeah, it's the bigger but game. But the prestige of playing against the number two ranked course, team right. in the world Messi. with Lionel Messi, who's Who's gonna be the first Singapore player to take him out and get a yellow card? Uh, Harry Saran, come on. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Red card straight, go. Dead. He's gonna get sent off. Sent off straight. But do you think Argentina will be playing the best team? No. And also, will they be going all out? Because it is an end of season friendly game for them. True. And they, they kind of brought seven strikers with them on four different days. <laughs> so I'll, be, like, what? I'll be honest, I think this would be like, hey, let's put Messi on for the pitch for 10 minutes, so then we can yeah, talk on about... On the 80th minute or something. Yeah. 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 Or maybe stuck Messi and then take him out in like, first half. Yeah. Yeah. Because they do play Brazil a few days before right, that. Right, exactly. In Sydney. So they're going to be tired as well. Yeah. So Singapore shot, win then. Yeah, yeah, say, I know. One nil. <laughs> <laughs> One nil to Singapore. Come on. Come on, you boys. Come on. You. Well, let me say, against Japan, who needed a result, all right, we had a nil-nil draw. So, a nil-nil draw, that would put Singapore on the world map because that would go crazy around the world. Yeah, Who right. is this lowly Singapore that helped the mighty Argentina to a draw? Could happen. Yeah. It could happen. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt to dream, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nil-nil. Nil-nil, all right. <laughs> and Duncan, I'm going to get you in a nil-nil as well. Like, my, my, heart, my heart says nil-nil, my head says I think Argentina yeah. will <laughs> Four nil yeah, winners. Four nil. Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling they might just slow down a bit to kind of be nice to their host and it's Maybe. our 120th anniversary. 125th yeah. anniversary. So, who knows? Give chance. Later. Can, please. Yeah. Argentina, let's be fair. Let's have a handicap. You guys start with two goals down. 
How's it about that? Minus five and minus two. Yeah. We used to do that in the playground sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's do that. Do you have any expert, expert advice? advice the What's the expert advice? What's so, the past previous expert so advice? So we have had two expert, expert advice. advices. To be a good goalkeeper, you need to be hands-on. If you want, if you're a player who's not getting enough um, time yeah. on the pitch, right? We have a solution for you. Volunteer for grass cutting duties. I should I should have taken that <laughs> taken yeah, advice in the later part of my career. Yeah. <laughs> if there is an athlete player who's who's hoping to make his mark, a, a young player, what would you say to him right now? Well, basically, if you're talking about the Garena Young Lions, everyone <laughs> is trying to so make their mark. Young Sea Lions, we call it. Yeah, the Young Sea Lions. Lions. Because Garena is changing the name to Sea. Alright. So it has to be Young Sea Lions. Okay. Yeah. Well, to the Sea Game Squad. Sea Game Squad. Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, mind blown. <laughs> wow. Well, for myself, I started off pretty late in the game to become a professional footballer at 23. So for these guys who are just like 18, 19, 20, just keep going at it and there'll be a, a, a season where it will just make sense and everything will just click for you and you'll be wondering why can I play that way the previous season it's because of the maturity and I think what Singapore footballers need to get and what they, they perhaps fall behind the European footballers is the maturity in terms of decision making and that, that only comes when you play against better players so for the Sea Lions yeah. Would, you, would you call that? Yeah, yes. Like Keep going at it, play against the better players and you, you learn from, from these hard defeats as well. They love poking fun at the young sea lanes, yeah. but Eventually, they are our sea game yeah. squad. And, and once you guys are in the sea games, we'll be right behind you. Yeah, so don't worry. don't worry about the fans, don't worry about me the, or him. It don't, don't matter. So you guys I would like to say as well, before they got trounced by Albirex, <laughs> right. they were playing some good football actually. Right. And yeah. against Brunei DPMM, yeah. they should have won that game. We had, we had one last request from one of our fans. Uh, last week. Oh yeah, we do. To do a uh, Warriors all-time eleven versus a Haugang all-time eleven. So uh, we decided he's going to do the Warriors. The Haugang fans going to do the Warriors all-time eleven, and I'm going to do the the Haugang all-time all eleven. All so do stay tuned to our pages. Are you going to include him? Yeah, left. Come on, <laughs> best left back ever, right? Who's <laughs> <laughs> loud, man? Yeah. Yeah. Put, put Ming Ming on the right. Yeah, yeah put Ming Ming yeah. on the right. That's, that's, how I, that's how we played it under Idris oh, yeah? Ganda, yeah. Both of you, when you're doing a Warriors All-Time 11 and Haugang All-Time 11, you could actually have one player who could be in both teams. It's Kenji Arai. Ah, right. Have you seen... It was in Senkang. Senkang. Not, 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 yeah. Okay. We should, you should speak to more Haugang players. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I already know who's going to be in my Warriors All-Time 11. First person I'll ever pick is... Fandi! And then do it. And the rich do it. Yeah. Do stay tuned to that. Uh, it's gonna appear very soon. So uh, also we are we're not yeah, we're gonna be taking a break next week. There won't be any footballer episode. Um, I don't think there will be even a vlog. I think we're just gonna be taking a break the entire we, week. We're just gonna go support the national team yeah. and put our efforts into that. So there will be a break and then when the S League starts in another two weeks time you will be back again. Definitely. Uh, and, oh, and the Singapore Cup. Yeah. And the Singapore Cup, yeah. yes. And definitely. Ho Gang and Series yeah. Negros. I wonder what's the score now for yeah. JBT Series. Let's go check it out. Very cool. Thank you so much Duncan for yeah. joining us today. Thank you for having me. And thank you for having the donuts. <laughs> let's see what happens to our day. Hopefully... Don't something? sign for Palestine. Don't sign for Marco right now. Do not sign him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Marco. No. Do not sign him. Victor Koto, stay away from Hong Kong. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I uh, hope you like this episode. Um, it's not your usual predictions and stuff, but you know, we do what we can. s -League's taking a break. We'll be back when the s -League is back. And possibly after the national team games and stuff. So, if you like this video, click the like down below. And subscribe to the channel. And all the social media links down below as well. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next episode. I just want to touch the screen. <laughs> Bye. Drama quick. <laughs>